Good morning. My name is Alexander Lansky from Yale University, and it's my pleasure today to be here with you with uh, Dr. Moshin Sharifi from Arizo Arizona Cardiovascular Consultants. Uh, we're going to be discussing your late-breaking trial, the MOPET study, which is moderate pulmonary embolism treated with thrombolysis. So I wonder if you could give me a little bit of background on your trial. Thank you, Dr. Lansky. As you mentioned, MOPET stands for moderate pulmonary embolism treated with thrombolysis. Uh, pulmonary embolism is a lethal disease, and uh, uh, the application of thrombolysis in the treatment of PE has been used before, but it has been used for cases that have been severe. Patients have been in cardiogenic shock, and uh, that constitutes approximately 5% of all comers with symptomatic PE. Uh, what we figured out that maybe with a lower dose of lytic therapy, in this case uh, TPA, we can achieve good results in moderate cases of pulmonary embolism, which constitutes a far higher number. So can you tell me a little bit about the trial design? Absolutely. It's a randomized trial that uh, randomized patients who had symptomatic PE, uh, but without hypotension and without shock. Uh, the standard dose for uh, treatment of PE with TPA is 100 milligrams, which is given in two hours. We figured out that we maybe we can get by with a far lower dose of 50 milligrams. Patients over 50 kilograms were given 10 milligrams bolus, followed by the administration of 40 milligrams in two hours. And the rationale for that is that lungs are uniquely sensitive to thrombolysis. Why is that? Because the entire cardiac output enters the lungs. Furthermore, the lungs are the points of convergence of all those molecules of TPA which is being administered peripherally. And this is in contrast with when you give TPA for acute MI and for acute stroke, because those are in the arterial circulation. Those molecules have, have to pass through the lungs. The capillaries enter the arterial circulation, and, uh, cardiac out and the output for the cardiac output going into the uh, coronary circulation is only 5% of the total cardiac output and to the brain only 15 percent. So that's why the lungs are uniquely sensitive. Uh, the other factor that one has to remember is that the concomitant use of parenteral anticoagulation should be modified. And once you do that, the dreaded complications of uh, intracerebral hemorrhage and major complications can be significantly reduced. So what were the key findings uh, from your study? Yes. The primary endpoints were uh, development of pulmonary hypertension at 28 months and the composite of pulmonary hypertension plus recurrent pulmonary embolism. Bear in mind that the determination of pulmonary hypertension was done echocardiographically. Uh, in the treatment group that received modified dose thrombolysis, development of pulmonary hypertension at 28 months was 16% versus 57% in the uh, control group, and the composite endpoints of pulmonary hypertension and recurrent pulmonary embolism was again 16% in the treated group versus 63% in the control group. So you saw a significant reduction, and what, what size of a trial was this? Uh, there were a total of 121 patients, okay. uh, 61 randomized to the treatment group and mm -hmm. 60 to the control Perfect. group. So what is the next step here, and what are the implications, do you think, in terms of treatment of these patients? Uh, there were also secondary endpoints in this trial. Uh, the secondary endpoints consisted of uh, bleeding mm -hmm. at the index hospitalization as well as duration of hospitalization. Mm -hmm. uh, the duration of hospitalization was 2.2 days in the treatment group versus 4.9 days in the control group. So, f and the, more, and the uh, bleeding rate was, was non, non-existent between the two. So the take-home message is that pulmonary embolism can be managed more aggressively with a safe dose, well, we don't have safe, but safer dose, thrombolytic dose, provided that the concomitant uh, administration of anticoagulation is also modified, and uh, these patients uh, can be treated more effectively and discharged soon. Mm -hmm. And is this a protocol you've adopted at your institution? Well, the use of lower dose has been in use before, and we realized in uh, treatment of patients with DVT that the lungs are exquisitely sensitive to thrombolysis. So 
uh, I personally tend to be aggressive in the treatment of uh, pulmonary embolism. Okay, well, I want to thank you very much for summarizing the, the results of your very important study, and um, that concludes our interview today. Thank it was you. a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.